every pony to Skittles and Chickadee again. I am your hostess, DJ Chickadee, and you're listening to Rhyme again. With me, I have a full house again. And the co hosts I have today again are DJ Fantasia, Ginger Overlord. Again. Who's here again. <laughs> I also have DJ Jack, the big boss man. He's here again. Bow to me, subjects. And I have someone who's returning who was not here last week, but is here now. So he's back again. Seven again. Eater of Nines. Hi. Okay, 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 guys, 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 guys. Viewers of Radio's Magic, during us getting ready to start the show, I came up with this fantastic idea. I want to do a philosophical show called On the Can with DJ Jack. Basically, we'll have in-depth, deep, you know, serious discussions while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> Thoughts? And then, and then, like, at the end of the show, you flush the toilet. No, no, like, no, no, no not like this kind of cheeky stuff. I'm just, that's just, that's just the pitch right there. But, 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 but you gotta flush the toilet sometime. I probably will. That'll be the that'll be the series finale. It's gonna flush like, it. it. It's like it's like the series takes place over like years and years, and finally Jack gets off of the toilet. He flushes. This is the thing I love about those. You guys, whenever I say you know on the candy, think of immediately to potty humor, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna play it straight. I mean, you'll just see me on the toilet, and. And then but why can't like, that flushing be part of it? Like, that flush doesn't necessarily mean there's any poo in there. You're just flushing the toilet. It could be a symbolic thing about the thought process going on. You're having all these philosophical questions, but then Which you just flush true. them all I mean, down the toilet. But that's the, my point is, though, is that they're all crap ideas. You guys instantly think of, yes, puns or sound effects when... <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Uh. <laughs> he can't even finish it. Fine, I'm sorry we ruined your idea, sir. You say just went down the drain. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, then. All right. We should just flush out the idea. Oh, God. Now, now who... All right, you were all like, let's not do any toilet puns, and now you're just, like, throwing them out there. Well, like you candy. guys started it, so now I'm going to end it, because it's me. Okay, sorry, it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> you should go to your corner of drying paint and watch paint dry. You know what, next time I'm on the show, like, for a chickles, a scribble to chickadee, I'm going to do it from the bathroom. You are? <laughs> Why not? Just to test it out. <laughs> See if anyone notices the difference. What if someone needs to use the bathroom? Not my problem. <sighs> <laughs> not your problem! <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll go to the neighbors. Oh, our neighbors are kind of the nice. Neighbors? But I don't know if they... We have neighbors. What are you talking about? We have plenty of neighbors. No, I'm just asking to like, go to the neighbors, like, go and, like, talk to the door saying, hey, can I use your bathroom? Yes, that's what Hi. he was talking about. Because I want to do a show. House cleaning. House <laughs> cleaning. I just need to clean your toilet. Actually, uh, oh, man. Uh, see, now, now when, uh, this brings up something interesting. A new thing that we've started at work is um, early in the day when our brand attendant is not around to you know check the washrooms cashiers have to go do that now oh, no. yeah. so the other day i went into the girls washroom like so this is what a girls washroom looks like Ooh, you were in the girls washroom what did it look like <laughs> i know what it looks like but you can it beyond all that i can see oh uh, that's nothing back in my uh job i used to work with at marquette the bathrooms used to be kind of old school in the sense that the place used to be an old uh, jazz res. So the women's and men's bathrooms were limited to having only one sex per floor. So if I, me, me and a guy, if I wanted to go to the bathroom, he had to go to the basement or up to the third floor because the second floor was kind of weird. So on the long nights when there was no one around, I would just exit the place and go to the, the bathroom across the hall, which was the ladies' room. And it was nice. It felt good. It smelled good, you said? Yes. <laughs> yeah, boys' bathrooms smell horrible. At work, I have to, our bathrooms are locked up, so you have to put in a code to open them for some reason. Um, so constantly people are asking to use the restrooms, and they need an employee to open the bathroom for them because they don't know the code. So I'm constantly having to unlock both the men's and the women's room. Uh, the women's room smells bad. The men's room is just horrible. Like, I hold my breath every time I have to open that door, and I try to, like, mask the disgust on my face when people are walking into the bathroom, and then I walk Manly away. Manly musk. 
Oh yeah, no 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 no! It smells like crap. Hour, so. Literally, it smells like crap and bad crap. Watch like, the language there, Missy. Uh, hey, crap is not a bad word. Yes, it is. It, it smells like it smells really bad because lady poo smells like flowers. In comparison, lady poo smells like lady poo smells like flowers. In comparison <laughs> to man poo, yes. Um, okay, I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm gonna stop you right there and say, <laughs> that... all right, Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye Jack. Oh, that Kanye lady Jack. poos can be just as bad, if not worse, than men's poos. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is up with the potty mouth? You, you keep telling yourself that, sir. What I think you, you should butt what, what are your corners. But I have a show to do, sir. So how are you two so intimate with the details of how this stuff smells? What do you mean? Well, because she's in the bathroom, gets done, I walk in, just get to smell the aftermath. Excuse me, you don't exactly smell like a blooming flower either when you use the bathroom, son. Mine smells like courage and bravery. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> courage and bravery? Uh, you know what that means I have to do, right? You, you know what the worst thing is? <laughs> you dry. You don't want to you dry. Why are you drying this on the air? This better be a chocolate ice cream cone. <laughs> Jack, Jack, you know what the worst thing is, though? What? When you have like a friend over or something and they're like, can I use your restroom? And then when they're done, they say, don't go in there. <laughs> you just know. <laughs> a hard battle was fought in that bathroom. <laughs> I smell like courage. <laughs> it sounds like, sound like a little mustache or it's like a little smile. I can make it a mustache if you want. Do you want it to have a, do you want your poo to have a manly mustache? Of course, it's manly. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> Only for this, you. This is gonna go right up on the TV garbage. <laughs> I smell like French. <laughs> Why are you in French? Because you hate French things. <laughs> yeah. What about gonna... French fries? You mean freedom fries? They're not freedom fries, for God's sakes! Sure, they're chips. They're chips. <laughs> they're chips. And potato chips are actually potato crisps. And I saw that actually on some of the um, the chips I've been buying lately. Yeah, they used to say potato chips all the time. Now they say potato crisps. Something why are they called... It's shady, it's shady why, Mrs. Why are, why are fries <laughs> called chips over there? Everyone else calls them chips except for us. It, but it makes sure it makes sense to call them fries because you deep fry them. You you put them in a fryer. That's how they get made. Maybe they're chips of potato. You know, think of it that way. Okay, in that case, Shady Mist wants it to have a beard. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Give the viewers what they want, which is a, a beard for a poo. A bearded poo. That's. <laughs> Great, guys. Is this, is this going to be like a Guy Fox poop or something? Or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good idea. That's better than what I came up with. Remember, Hold on. remember. <laughs> remember, remember. The, the of poop November. of November. The Chipotle <laughs> day and sup. God, what's wrong with us? There, it has a beard now. You happy? That's a, that's a goatee. <laughs> yeah, like Guy Fox. Like a Guy Fox beard. Goatee. goatee. It's not a beard. A Guy Fox beard is a goatee. Don't you know that? I, 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 I like to. That's like, all the way around. Now, I like to call a goatee just hair that's on your chin. You don't actually have to have it connected to your mustache. Like, that's yeah. what I call <laughs> <Fu> man poo. <laughs> <laughs> Fu man poo. Uh, I like that. I think that's what I'm going to name it. I'm going to save the file as that. Um, Actually, I don't know if this is worth saving. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Really? It's gonna clog up my computer space, Fu Man Poo. I need to make a t-shirt out of this. Oh my <laughs> god. I, just want, I want that just to be the t-shirt. Can I, I polish like it up a bit first? No, leave it just like that. Nope, nope, nope. I, yeah, that, leave that's... it just like that. No. I like the simplicity of it. What's the point of using some of these scribbles as, the, as selling stuff if you make it into well-thought-out drawings? That's the... Ah, I don't want to be known for my crap drawings! <laughs> 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 I think we lost him. <laughs> I think we lost him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna